Hello friends, in this video we will see a method to calculate dynamic viscosity of oil when a plate is kept on an inclined surface. So let's move on to video. Let's see the numerical. A rectangular plate of size 25 cm by 50 cm. So this is the size. 25 multiply by 50 and its unit is in centimeters and weighing 25 kg force slides down a 30 degree inclined surface at a uniform velocity of 2 meter per second so force is given to us or self weight of a plate is given to us and angle of inclination is also given to us as 30 degree at uniform velocity of 2 meter per second velocity is also given to us if the uniform 2 mm gap between the plate and inclined surface is filled with oil determine the viscosity of oil the first condition a constant gap of 2 mm is maintained and secondly it is filled with the oil so let's see the solution when the plate is moving with velocity 2 meter per second viscous resistance to the motion is equal to component of weight to the plate along the sloping surface we all know that in mechanics we have seen that for inclined force there are two components one along horizontal direction one along vertical direction so when viscous resistance is considered it is equal to one of the component of the weight along the sloping surface so here the case will be reverse a vertical force will be converted into two components one along inclined surface and one perpendicular to the inclined surface and the component which is along the inclined surface will be the responsible force for the motion of plate during inclined plane so the first thing is to calculate the component of weight along the slope which is nothing but the 25 sin 30 which becomes 12.5 kg force viscous resistance is nothing but the force so force can be calculated by stress multiplied by area so if we consider stress Our replacement of tau by Newton's law gives us the equation as tau equal to mu dv upon dy. So viscous resistance becomes mu into dv upon dy multiplied by A. Here in our case this dv is nothing but the velocity and y is nothing but the gap between the surfaces and plate. So equation becomes by substitution V is equal to 2 meter per second y is equal to it is in cent millimeter so we will convert it in meter by multiplying 10 raised to minus 3 and area is nothing but the 0 0.25 meter multiplied by 0 0.5 meter so we will have viscous resistance as mu into 2 upon 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 multiplied by 0 0.25 into 0 0.5 that is 125 into mu and its unit will be kg force equating the two equations we can have the value of mu as 12.5 divided by 125 that is 0 0.1 but in this case unit will be in kg force second per meter square but in this case unit will be 0 0.1 kg force second per meter square we all know that there are various units of mu in terms of newton second per meter square or kg second per meter second so as force is given to us in kg force so unit will be kg 4 second per meter square that's all thank you